there's a change of plans. In fact, contest prep is going to start tomorrow. And we've made the first very sequence of the Iron Natural Bodybuilder documentary 2.0. I'm gonna show you. We have recovered from being sick. Man, that was uh, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, it was a short period of time that I was getting sick, but all the kids were here now, except for Boas. But I recovered and uh, now I've been returning back to the gym for two days already. So uh, we are now started with getting the script done for the I'm Natural Bodybuilder 2.0. And that's freaking exciting. And this stuff that uh, you know needs to be done. Whenever you are going to put out a documentary, you want to make sure that everything needs to, you know, be purposely done in the documentary in order to have a good flow. And that was pretty much, I think, the success of 1.0 because the story was good. And even though I had some storylines in there beforehand, uh, but it was, it was all just shoot and go. We had the camera with us and shot whatever we wanted. And eventually, out of all the footage, we made a documentary. And uh, this time I'm doing that with a more professional take than previous time. There will be a whole film production team, but the main story and, you know, the script will be done by myself. I just couldn't let myself start working on the very first piece of the documentary. And I'm willing to share that with you guys. So, you know, you also need to be doing scoring, which means that you have to pick the music for certain scenes and stuff like that, that you want to have involved in the documentary. And, uh, you know, I'm always picking the music by myself because I need to feel that stuff. So that's what we have done. And we've made the first very sequence of the Iron Natural Bodybuilder documentary 2.0. And it's freaking exciting, I'm gonna show you. What really happened in 2015, I still try to figure it out. I did pretty much everything I could. Did I miss something? Did I left something out of the equation? Or was it just bad luck? So, first sneak peek. Folks, it's gonna be exciting. I freaking love this stuff. And, uh, you know, sharing that also with the videographer and, um, you know, we are bringing up new ideas for the next documentary. We both feel that we have to bring the same kind of thing, which, you know, is working synergistically. And one idea adds up to another idea, adds up to another idea, which makes the whole thing work. I hope you like that little bit already. And, uh, can't wait to shoot the documentary, folks. Alrighty, folks, so in the oven we have, yes, yet another pizza. And she's excited as well. Yeah, yeah, the VA. That's you. Say hi, hi. And, um, you know, I was using uh, Vitargo for the uh, intro workout shakes and also the post workout to get it just more carbohydrates. Um, but uh, he recommended the coach that uh, I am getting tapioca starch because it's naturally not processed as the other maltodextrins and stuff like that. So we got ourselves uh, what's left inside in here. So, you know, that's gonna add up when it comes down to getting in the carbohydrates easier because we are going to actually bump up the food again. According to the coach, we ha had a call last, uh, yesterday it was, and he was having me on 10% of a caloric surplus. And my weight maintained, you know, I even dropped weight, even though looking bigger, more leaner, less inflamed, um, but he is going to put me now on 20% of a caloric surplus. Um, and therefore, you know, these things can become easier to get into carbohydrates. So also for your people who are the high caloric intake fellas, you know, you want to make sure you are getting yourself, make it easy for yourself to get in more calories during your workout while you're working out. Because if you want to get on those calories 
you know, when you're sitting at home, it's much more difficult. And doing that with the carbohydrates also has a function to add into the workout, to the energy levels, to the quality of the workout itself. So yeah, get this stuff, it's good. This week, um, Coach Joey increased the macros, um, but I got an announcement to make. There's a change of plans. In fact, contest prep is going to start tomorrow. It's a tough decision that I have to make. And the reason being is, end goal, well, the whole purpose for with working with Joey from N1 was to have the bulk season done correctly for a period of four months. Because I had four months still to gain weight, you know, and to get back to a level which I surpassed with my body than I was before. So that happened. And from that point on, it was going so good that in my mind was, well, with me having such a body recomposition, getting leaner, getting bigger at the same time, we might extend um, the period of the lean gain towards the end of March and then start prep. So taking a month longer and might even extend the period more because it was so, so great. The end goal was to work with Cliff Wilson and Cliff Wilson is one of the best coaches in the world as well when it comes down to peaking and to contest preparation for natural bodybuilders. He had hundreds of people getting on the natural stage, getting the pro cards, you know, championships, um, getting the first place, everything. So, so he has a very different methodology when it comes to peaking into the shows where you have tons of carbohydrates coming into the body. And I'm talking about 1,000 grams of carbohydrate, 1,200 grams of carbohydrates. These numbers are uh, not uh, unfamiliar with, with his protocols. Um, you know, and you know, every single athlete he brings is just in freaking peak, full condition, everything is dialed in. So, you know, it was the goal to work with him eventually, but I thought, well, I can handle the pre-contest my own and eventually, you know, get myself shredded to a point where we are 10 weeks out and work together with Cliff and uh, do the whole final stages of, you know, peaking and stuff like that. However, I uh, texted him and said, Cliff, hey, listen up, how many time, how much time do you need in order to uh, get this done? And he actually said, uh, normally 10 weeks, but uh, if you're not starting now, I can't get you in shape. I can't get it done. And I was like, what, what in the world? Serious? I was thinking that I was going into prep in the end of freaking March and now Cliff is saying to me it's not gonna happen so um, that was a tough decision um, because I have to leave and one coaching and that's a, a really hard decision because Joey has done a phenomenal job I learned so much but I know the end goal is in fact working with Cliff uh, to get me you know, ready for all this and uh, eventually also with the documentary coming up. So, you know, there's some pressure that I need to do the very best that I can. So, um, I have to make the decision to Joey to say to him, well, we're going to quit the coaching now and I'm going into contest preparation with Cliff. And uh, that's the message I need to bring. Um, but that was going on for the past few days uh, with me chatting with Cliff um, and, uh, you know, I will be uh, sending the video quickly to uh, Joey to inform him uh, that we are going to quit. Um, by all means, folks, I couldn't have done this off-season success without Joey. Let it be very clear. Okay, Joey is a phenomenal coach. And like I said, I learned a ton, but I need to make the decision now. All right, so I hope... Uh, you know, that's something uh, that you get excited for because contest prep is starting, folks. Yeah, it's gonna be a long contest prep though, but uh, <clears throat> hey, whatever the coach says, if Cliff Wilson is going to say, you need to start now, otherwise we are not ready, you better start listening, okay? So, all right, I'm now uh, getting into the post-workout meal. Let it sink in for myself a little bit. I just uh, picked the camera and told you this information, um, but yeah. It's going to start, folks. I will soon uh, inform you what we're going to do and how the protocols are. And uh, yeah, let's get it done. Let's get it done, whatever it takes.